Hey guys, it's me Inez Moore. So I want to show you guys a couple of different ways to preserve your twist out at night. Um, I did a video like this a while back, but I only show one technique. But since then, I've used a different method of techniques. Um, the first technique that I recommend, number one, is don't do anything and wear a satin. The first technique I recommend is don't do anything and sleep on a satin pillowcase yes sometimes you don't even have to do anything um just sleep on a satin pillowcase wake up i i like to take my showers in the morning so if i do sleep in a satin pillowcase what i will do is i will um go to sleep satin pillowcase don't do anything to my hair and then what i like to do is i like to take a shower with a shower cap of course you want to wear a shower cap in the shower and then as soon as i get out of the shower what i will do is because the the bathroom is so steam what i will do is i will let the steam from the bathroom bring my hair back to life and um at that time i'm just brushing my teeth putting butter on my body and i'll just kind of stretch it out and it'll turn into a fro so when you do it like that your hair won't be as defined uh, what, what will happen is your what, what happens for me is do you see how i kind of have like these ringlets at the end and that's because i just use my perm rods um what happens for me is that my hair um, just turns into a fro but I still have the ringlets at the end so that is one thing that I recommend another thing that I recommend is to like if your hair is short like mine of course you're not gonna be able to pineapple I mean you might be able to pineapple but let's be realistic no okay so what I like to do is almost the opposite of pineappling my hair. Now I like to use this. I got this from the beauty supply store. Um, what it is, it's just a piece of material and it straps like that. Uh, alternative, alternative to doing that would, could be using an elastic headband. And this is very, very simple. What you can do is take your elastic headband and just put it over your hair so what happens is it's like this so that's why i say it's the opposite of pineappling because you're flattening your hair to your head now what's going to happen is when you do this it's really going to preserve everything like nothing's going to move while you go to sleep you can where you can sleep on your satin pillowcase. Um, I like to use my satin bonnet. So if you don't use this, you can just use a headband. And make sure your headband is stretched out before you do it because you'll wake up with a headache. But what you want to do is go ahead and just wrap it around your head just like that and what I like to do this cute hairstyle <laughs> what I like to do is I like to take it a step further and wear a satin bonnet and I purchased this bonnet off of Etsy and I'll leave the link below to the seller but I like this bonnet because very adjustable and I'll just take it a step further with my satin bonnet and then what I'll do in the morning when I wake up is I will take the bonnet off I'll take that off and usually my hair is very flat and all I have to do is give it a good shake and I'm pretty much good to go. So that's another way I like to preserve it. Now here's a trick for me. Um, a lot of times what happens is, for instance, here is a curl that's kind of not there all the way. Now if you find some curls like that, 
go ahead and re rewrite your hair. Um, go ahead and rewrite your hair if you want to keep the style a little bit longer. I know for me, twist outs only have like two to three day lifespan for me. So after like the second day, so I'll do my hair on the Sunday and then by Tuesday, I'll just do some plaits in my hair. Um, but another way that I like to, um, another way that I like to preserve my hair at night is doing mini pineapples. So what I will do is, I'm actually going to keep this because this is how I'm going to preserve this one. What I'll do is, I will take my hair. So what I will do is I'll take my hair and it's almost like doing your hair before the night before um, because of course the trick to having a good twist out is to pick it out. So I'll just go ahead and pick out the roots and I'll use my elastic ties. And I'll just pineapple it far from the roots. And without separating the sections too much. And then you can take it a step further and you can add your favorite oils and give yourself a nice scalp massage if you do this method. But my hair is pretty moisturized. Okay, so you can just go ahead and finish that up with your satin bonnet. So that is it. That is how... A couple of different ways I like to wear my twist outs. They help it last longer. And to be honest, that second day, third day twist out looks so much better. But it's all about how you maintain your twist outs at night. Because um, you don't want to wake up with flat hair and it's just like, oh my god, what am I going to do? So, <laughs> if you guys have any questions or any suggestions on how you preserve your twist out, I'm always open to suggestions. Just leave them below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.